Okay, thank you everyone for your patience. We are back. Okay, so we have quite a number of things we still need to do right now. We still need to return to Shatola to advance this story. We've got a lot of quests that keep coming up for sure. Jade Forest. Alright, we need to go to the house. Oh, we need to go to the sea. We need to go to the Shatola before. Okay, so we've got quite a number of things we need to do on our way and in Shatola. Fine. Other than that, I think that's all here. All for here right now. So let us probably Yeah, let's go ahead and return home. And then we'll go to we'll go check out the vacant house. A number of things we need to do. I hope everyone is still enjoying the adventure, the stories. Oh, I didn't realize I didn't give Totokaku pets today. Bye bye! towards the abandoned house? They say abandoned, but... Hey, Sheeran, I've got good and not so good news for you. Oh, hi Myra. Any news? No way! Burke came back? Yeah, I need you to come with me right now. He's at the doctor's? Okay, thanks. I'm coming, Berg. The girl is gone. I'm fine. I'm ready to go in. Myra, you're back, and you've brought someone. Is she Berg's? Berg? Where's Berg? Calm down. He's over here. spoke to her about the state of Berg's health. In normal circumstances, it would have been nice to share a nice story of our travels with her instead. I'm sure you'll get another chance, too. Yeah. Berg, why won't you open your eyes, Berg? Why won't you say anything? I'm sorry, miss. This is all my fault. Only I hadn't told them to take on that request. Tell me, Cress, when is Berg gonna wake up? Can't say for sure. But I can say I will do everything I can, so don't give up just yet. Okay. Cress, would it be bad for him if we moved him back to his house? That would be fine, but who would look after him there? I will. I'm the one who's been looking after his house all this time he's been gone. I see. 
and I'll leave him in your hands. And I'm carrying him to the house. It's the least I can do. Myra, you're helping too, right? Thank you, everyone. There. Thank you for helping me find Berg, Myra. Lie just left town. Said he had to go out and work for the two of them while Berg is gone. I really appreciate all your help. It's thanks to you we managed to get Berg back home. Talk to me whenever you need anything. Thanks, I will. Aww. Ooh, seeds. <laughs> I'm here for you, Berg. I'll wait for you as long as it takes. Aww. Sorry, I know that was like a complete 180 where it's like we have this whole emotional story and we're like, ooh, seeds as a reward. <laughs> Yes, so far they're doing a decent job of writing some stories. It's not looking like there's anything else here for us to do. It's only 12.40, so we could probably make our way down to Shatola. Wait, we need to go to the Jade Forest, right? Almost forgot. Okay. Here they are, so it'd probably be better to go back to the leaf side of the woods. Oh, they just keep following you, is that it? Okay, they follow you for a short time. I was like, we keep pulling aggro, are we gonna just have to face them? No! Ike, what are you doing here, child? Uh, I don't want to be eaten, I'm not even yummy. Uh, e hello? Oh no, this is Vent, right. Help, Daddy, Mommy, someone, Van, Melica? Ah! Vent, are you okay? You guys are here, how did you find me? We'll talk later. Go get him, Myra. Let's go! are reunited. That was so cool, Myra. Thank you for saving me, guys. That you're safe now. That's the whole purpose, right? You're so lucky you didn't get hurt. You know what you're gonna have to do now, right? What did you think you were doing coming out here all by yourself? You're the biggest scaredy cat of us all. We were so worried about you, your mom, your dad, the whole village is looking for you. Sorry. 
You'll have to apologize to everyone when we get back to Leaf. So, what made you leave the village all by yourself? Yeah, we got told off so badly that time we went into the Jade Forest, don't you remember? I was looking for this. Isn't that one of those pretty stones we found last time? Oh, you found two? Here you go, Van. Huh? You're giving them to me? Yeah, that's what I came to get them for. I don't get it. I wanted us all to have something nice to remember before Milica goes away. Oh. Van, let's make up with Milica. Yes! Vent being the voice of reason. I don't want her to leave with us. I don't want her to leave. I don't want her to leave with us still fighting. Then. What do you two think? I. I just want us all to be happy again and see Melika off nicely. Here, Melika. Oh, this is the stone I threw away. I didn't want it to go to waste, so I picked it up. So, here, I'm giving it to you again. Thanks, Van. And I'm sorry I said some really mean things to you last time. I'm sorry, too. I didn't tell you I was leaving. It's okay. Just because you're moving doesn't mean we can't be friends. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, even if we're far apart, we'll still be friends. I'll definitely come back to see you when I'm older, okay? Yeah, we'll come to see you, too. Going to Shatola will be a piece of cake for us when we're older. And we won't be scared of no goblins. We'll be cool like Myra and take them down without a sweat. Okay, guys, we should start heading home. Yeah, I bet everyone's still worried. Uh, do we have to? Mom and Dad are gonna be so mad at me. You'll be out on field duty for ages. I hope that's all I get. <laughs> You're so silly, panicking all of a sudden. You were doing so well until then. For a moment, you actually looked cool there, then. Aw, you're so mean. <laughs> Come on, guys, let's go. Myra's coming with us, too. Well, oh, rude. I'm having a moment here, thank you. Oh no, I'm out of stamina. Oh, that's not good. I guess we could maybe have another break or something. We had a break today? I don't think so. Yeah, we need to take a break because we need to get our stamina back. Jeez. Hey, Azel, can I ask you something? Oh, of course. What is it? Would you say a girl like Estina is your type? That's quite the question. What? I'm interested is all. Is my is Estina my type? What does that mean? It means how it sounds. I've seen you stealing glances of Estina when she's not looking. I was just wondering if there was something there. Ah, uh, you caught me. I've actually been watching Estina for a while. I think there's a lot I could learn from watching the way she fights. The way she... Wait, no, 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 that's not what I meant. Oh, I see what you did there. You thought you had me. Had you how? 
Come on, surely a guy your age must have even the smallest interest of an older sister type like Astina. Right? Isn't that what I said? Arya, I'm confused. What are you trying to get at here? Easel's too pure for that. Man, I'm starting to see that now. Arya? I may not understand your point, but if it makes you feel better, I've been watching you a lot, too. You've been what? Hold it right there. I can't tell if you're still being naive or not. There's a lot I can learn by watching the way you carry yourself. While Estina may be sharp and agile, there's a lightness in the way you move. You mean that in a good way, right? You're not making fun of me? Well then, you're free to glimpse from time to time if it helps. Thank you. Hopefully I'll show you what I learn as time goes on. Still, how could you have grown to such an age without developing certain urges? You're a strange one, Azel. I don't think I'm alone there, Arya. Oh, Azel's such a cinnamon bun. He's too pure for this world. Shall we make a move? Great. We'll walk back to Shatola. Hopefully we'll have enough time to make it to Shatola and look for those seashells. Get a move on. Here we go. Just in time. What kind of shells should you take to Sherry? Hi, what you doing? Aren't you adorable? Can I play too? You can help me choose a shell. Why do you want a shell? Oh, it's for someone else. Okay, I'll help. Rather than choosing it on your own, let's choose together. <laughs> okay, I'll go and look over there. about this one. Wow, that's so pretty. It's so big and shiny. We have a shell just like that at home. Oh, did you know? My dad told me the secret about shells. He said if you hold a shell up to your ear, you can hear the sea. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. I enjoyed it. Whoops, I almost forgot. It's home time. Bye bye. I hope your I hope your crush likes it. What? <laughs> See ya. Girl got the wrong idea. So you got the shell. Take it to Sherry. I guess there's some sort of thing where if you give C cell to your crush. Oh dear. Shatola. Shatola? Oh, um, was there someone else here with me? Not that I saw. Our boat capsized. We got attacked by a monster. I can't be the only one who washed up here. Oh. Was it someone you knew? Yes, it's someone I love very dearly. But if they're not here, that means... Someone might have found them first. That's true, they might be somewhere in Shatola. You wouldn't mind, could you help me look for them, please? I really must find them, it's someone important to me. 
Sure, I can't leave you on your own now. Thank you. I'm Lilia. Sorry, I should have introduced myself earlier. I mean, what you were dealing with, you know, coming off a wrecked ship, so I don't blame you. I'm Myra. Myra, nice to meet you. I'm going to try talking to the fishermen. Could you ask the people around town for me, please? Sure. Thanks, meet me here again if you find anything out. So many side quests! You? Okay, so Leaf, Namiya, Chitola, then Ask Around. Oh, there's someone over here. Sorry, you're wondering if we've seen anyone at the beach recently. Hmm, no, I don't think so. Me neither. Have you lost someone? Oh dear. Oh, excuse me. Your boat got attacked by monsters? How awful. I'm so sorry, but I haven't heard talk of anyone getting rescued. News like that would normally spread around Chitola. Sorry we weren't much help. We hope you find them. Yes, don't give up. There's still a chance they might have washed up somewhere else. If you don't find them in Chitola, you might find you might still find them in another town. Oh, there's a level 3 to this place I haven't been to. Hmm. Well, I guess the next place would probably be the bar. Oh! No, that's because there's the main quest and the side quest. Maybe Emmo isn't working today? Well... Hey, here's this lady. Oh, Fine! Oh, where's Emmo? What business do you have with her? We'd like to speak to Emmo if we may. Sure you do, but the landlord says nobody's to see the diva without his say-so. Well, It's really important. It's currently away on business, one town over. Said he could be gone a while. This way. Yeah, that landlord is more and more suspicious. This is the anteroom where the diva sleeps. Emmo, you have customers. Meep. So, what's the deal? What's so important you got me breaking the rules? We found this. Meep. Huh. Well then. It looks like your boss intends to sell you to another establishment. You can't stay here any longer. That jerk. So this is what his business trip's about. We want to help you. 
What's wrong? Me. Uh, she can't speak any human language you or I might know. The boss is able to understand it without a problem, though. Me. That could be a problem. How else are we supposed to communicate? You know where she's from. Nope, the landlord just turned up with her one day. If only we had a clue. I'd say she probably grew up in some far-off hidden land of the fairies. Land of the fairies? Yep, but it's just a guess. I get the impression the lyrics to her songs are from an old fairy dialect. A scholar of such things would stop by here to drink some years back. That's when I first heard about it. I used to talk about being able to speak the language of the fairies. If only they were here now. Language of the fairies, hmm? Say, Myra, who else do we know that can speak with the fairies? Actual fairies? Uh, Juno? That's the one. Perhaps they're feeling charitable for once. That Juno, if she's really such a great fairy, then surely she can speak the language, no? Are you saying you're friends with a fairy? More or less. But calling them all the way out here could be a pain. <laughs> Heed, children, repeat as follows, and the great fairy shall grace you with her presence. O oh, great fairy, we call upon thee in our time of need. We shall feed thee the tastiest of treats three times a day, oh, and brush thy wings every morning. Oh, oh, and you get to trip that mouthy redhead ten times each day. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> Recite these words three times and don't forget to prepare the snacks. Juno! Myra, grab her. Quick. Yep. You were there the whole time, weren't you? I might have been for a little while. Look, laboring in the fields all day gets pretty boring, okay? We'll let it go this time, but only because we need you to we need to put you to use in other ways. I'll even look past your insult about me being a mouthy redhead. Insult? Why whatever do you mean? I see I say that with the greatest of respect Oh, who am I kidding? So you want me to interpret for the girl, was that it? Yes, and be quick about it. Alright, alright. So, girly, would you mind saying a few words for me? This is a first. Can't say I've ever seen a fairy before. We happened upon her by chance. Get all kinds of people stopping by my tavern, but it looks like there's still plenty in the world left to see. Fairies definitely aren't something you expect to see every day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is that so? I see. See. Okay, I think I get the gist. Your accent's a little strong, but I'm struggling to pick up all the details. And again, you're not really speaking the language of the fairies. Meep. So, what did she say? Well, I can say one thing for sure. That landlord is a piece of work. Oh boy. He went and stole the poor girl's linguocyte. Oh. Her what? Linguocyte. She needs that stone to be able to talk with humans. So that's how he could understand what Emo Emma was saying. Well, why should he be holding on to something so important? Sounds like there was some kind of promise involved. Somehow she ended up being forced to sing in the tavern while that guy still hasn't fulfilled his side of the deal. I'd say he's keeping the linguicide hostage so she can't ask for help. Landlord tends to use her as some kind of attraction to entice sales. 
Just like what was written in the letter, he plans to sell Emmo. Means we don't have time to dilly-dally. Was there anything else? Said he was keeping the linguicide because of a promise he made? Meat! Min the meat! Oh, so that's why. For some reason, she needs a boat and some help to take her to the Summer Seas Light. The landlord said he was going to give her both of these things, but he never did. Jerk. That must have been why he was talking about... That must have been what he was talking about the other night. What do you need help with? Meat. He says she can't say just yet. Understandable, considering how the landlord has tricked you. I would be surprised if you trusted us so quickly. This still works out wonderfully, since we're both heading to the Sea's Light, too. We should take this opportunity to help Emma, too. Do you own a boat? Uh, we do not. He's got a point. It's not like we have the money to buy one, either. At least we're in a fishing town. There must be a spare boat sitting around that we can borrow. Actually, you'll be hard-pressed finding anyone who will put their boat in water since Lorelei turned up. Alright, I remember hearing something about that during the row at the tavern. What was it again? Their boats filled with water when they heard Lorelei's ballad? Become quite the rumor. But a fisherman's boat is their life. You won't find anyone willing to risk theirs. Does it have to be a fisherman's boat? Fishermen or not, I don't think anyone is about to risk sinking their boat. We'll just have to think of another way. It's too soon to give up now, right, Myra? Let's take a walk around town, see if we can't find any useful gossip. Hmm. So Emma wants to go to the Sea's Light too, huh? You are so adorable. still have a feeling she sees folk or something. What if Lorelai is... What if the whole thing with Lorelai is also caused because she's gone? What's that? You've been searching for someone. Well, I'd be happy to help however I can. Ah, uh, her name is Michella. Michelle. Yeah, I know her. Well, what's it to you? I've never seen your face around here. Ah, uh, her brother. Oh, so her brother asked you to come and find her. Well then, sorry for butting in. I was just looking out for her, you see. Brother's pretty worried. Huh? Hmm. Nothing bad's happened to her that I know of. Maybe you should go and talk to her yourself. She's usually working over by the pier around now. Did she get amnesia somehow? He thinks this is an amnesia case. Hmm? You're looking for someone. Oh, it was their boat that got attacked by the monster. That's unfortunate. I heard about that accident, but I didn't know they were any survivors. Sorry I can't be of any help. Well... We've got a number of things to do. We're gonna talk to Lilia. Hey, Myra, how's it going? Oh, really? I don't have any clues either. I asked the sailors and the fishermen, but no one has seen him. Maybe it's time to accept that he's really gone, my dear Jade. Is he your partner? Yes, we were engaged to be married. Am 
must be our pu this must be our punishment. If only I never said anything about running away together. What were you running away from? The truth is, Jade parent Jade's parents were against us getting married. But we wouldn't let that stop us. We chose to run away together instead. We got on the boat to leave home. Yes, but look at how that turned out. A monster capsized our boat, and now it's only me left. This is what we get forever trying to run away. He might just be in another town. Maybe. Oh, by the way, when you found me, was there a hair accessory somewhere around me? That I saw. Oh, it must have gotten swept away somewhere. It was a birthday present from Jade. It meant a lot to me. What are you going to do now? I think I'll go to Namiya. That's where Jade and I were planning to start our new life. Now that I've run away, I don't have anywhere else to go. I can't go back home. I'd at least like to live in the town that we set out for. Thank you for everything, Myra. I'll be on my way now. Aww. I'm a bit worried about you. Sometime after tomorrow. After tomorrow, it'll be quietest, but it'll be fine. Oh, there's another quest over here. One of the docks. Hello, is there something I can help you with? Todd? Uh oh, no. Gisela, who are you talking to? Pass. Uh, I have some, I have some explaining to do. Something happened? Did she stay in town for a partner? Ah, I see now. Masella's older brother is worried and asked you to come out and check up on her. But Masella, this is the first I've heard of you wanting to go home. I'm... I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. What's going on? I'm scared to tell Todd about my relationship with Haas. Masella and I have been seeing each other for the past year. I've mentioned to her several times that I'd like to meet her family, but... You haven't told me a thing about us, have you? I'm sorry. But you see, Todd, he's... To say he's protective of me would be an understatement. He's the kind of man who would refuse to let me marry. Oh dear. So that's why you always change the subject, subject whenever I talk about meeting your family. Still, this is all my fault. I didn't have the courage to face Todd and tell him the truth. Oh, Michelle. Would you prefer to stay here? I have to go back. He's worried enough to send a stranger to come and check on me. It's only right that I stop trying to run away from the situation. And I'm going with you. We'll confront your brother together, as a couple. What? But... but... I'll come with you. Thank you. Paz and I will head home and pack our things. Meet us at the entrance to the Jade Forest and we will travel to Namiya together. Well, there's another 
side quest pushed forward. Thief, Nia, Forest, and Namiya. Okay. No other side story, so now it's just the main story. And it looked like it was up here. Oh, we're going to Heinz place. This building looks nothing like the other houses, does it? This guy! Hm. This part isn't strong enough after all. What's this? Customers in my humble atelier. Oh, I remember you. We met in Leith, didn't we? Aren't you going to introduce me to your lovely lady friend? I'm Arya, and is that... A sub? this, it's called a sunken ship. Pretty impressive. Why, thank you. This is my latest invention, the Fia, the Fia Sola. Gorgeous, isn't it? Just look at her buxom curvaceousness. Oh, look at this part. Now, now, a lady should know better than to touch what doesn't belong to her. I must say I was skeptical when I heard talk of a ship that sinks itself, but this... Tell me, how does it withstand the increase in atmospheric pressure when it's submerged? What's this, so you are no ordinary lady after all? Well, you see, after a great many tests... Aww. I'll just be here. I didn't know you could use the monolite in such a way. It's more advanced than I realized. But if it spreads far too far, then there's a chance it could really confuse historians centuries from now. Wow, what's this gem? Don't tell me you're secretly dripping with riches. Oh that, it's an imitation. A byproduct of a previous invention of mine. It's completely worthless. A discerning eye could tell you it's a forgery quicker than a heartbeat. Still, even imitation gemstones have some value. There are people out there who wouldn't care that it's a fake. For them, it's not about the value, it's about how rare it appears. I suppose not everyone is quite as is as is quite as philosophical as you, hmm? So why are you both here? I'm sure it's not just to catch a glimpse of my latest creation. Would you take us to the sea's light? I want to go to the summer sea's light. Well, my ships would certainly be suitable enough to help you with your endeavor. But it's not like you're asking me to take you on a pleasure cruise. So you can't blame me for asking what it is you expect to achieve there. You're we hoping to keep it something of a secret, but I guess we really don't have much of a choice. M.O., come in. You're... M.O. needs to go there, which is why she's trapped in some awful promise to the tavern landlord. I wonder if we could get her another linguicite somehow. Oh dear. Human trafficking is quite a repellent concept, which I suppose is fitting for such a repellent landlord. Do you wish to take Chitola's resident diva to the sea's light? Sirens awoken something. Oh! Is something wrong? Not at all. If the beautiful diva wishes to go there, then who am I to turn her away? Hold on a second, why were you so reluctant when it was me who made the request? 
Oh well, how do I put this into words? You're not quite up to my level. Come, you must know what I mean. Dude! No, I don't think I do. Ugh, whatever. We got what we came for, and you're, you've agreed to take us to the sea's light. Can't wait to ride the boat. You're so easily amused. Hey, don't care. Still, it may become a self-fulfilling prophecy if we keep calling it a sunken ship. How about a submarine instead? That's a wonderful idea, Arya. In that case, she will be called the Submarine Fiasola. I'll prepare the ship for departure. Come back and see me once you've completed any preparations of your own. Hmm. The kind of preparations. Hmm? Hmm. I mean, I guess we're not fully prepared. Although we do have a fair amount of juice, so if we need to do some healing, we can. Hmm. So, I guess if we're going to something of a dungeon, it'd probably be better to have either some more... Some more of these. Lighten our load a little bit. Okay. Anything else of interest in here? Don't mind me, I'm gonna snoop in your house. Ooh. Got small thunder core. Interesting. I don't think I ever would have taken Hein for being an inventor. Once preparations are complete... Well, let's just see about maybe completing some of these side quests and then maybe we can come back... tomorrow? Okay, let's go. I'd like to clear the forest before it gets dark. We don't want to have to deal with any monsters. Whee! Don't you worry. No matter what happens, I'll be here to protect you. Aw, Haas. You guys make a cute couple. Yet we were at each, at each other's throats when we first met. I teased you relentlessly when you first arrived in Shatola. Don't forget the time I threw you into the sea. We were awful to one another. Imagine my surprise. Me, a member of the Vigilante Corps, thrown into the sea like I'm nothing. <laughs> I guess that wasn't very nice of me. Eee! Someone help me! Hmm. Did you hear that? Sounds like somebody's having trouble with the monster. I'll be right back. I have to go help them. Wait, let us come with you! Us, you can't go alone! Come on, let's follow. Right. They almost sound like they're pretty strong. Ending. Here's the mark. Okay, not far. That was a walk in the park. Oh no, did the brother come this way? He did. Eee, 
please don't eat me. I promise I taste terrible. Why does everyone say that? Todd, why is he out here? That's your brother? No, I can't die before I see Macella my one last time. Come on, we have to help him. Haas, you grab Todd. Let's go! Operation Save the Brother. The battle begins. <laughs> If this doesn't get him in good with the brother, I don't know what will. I'm... I'm still alive! Yes, you are. Todd! M Micella, why are you... That's what I should be asking you. What were you doing out here all on your own? You were supposed to stay in Namiya. I know, but I just couldn't sit, sit still worrying about Micella. So that's why you did something so foolish? I'm sorry, Micella. I ended up making you worry instead. At least he's safe now, eh? Things could have gone a lot worse. That's right, I owe you a debt of gratitude. I have no idea who you are, though. Ah. Seriously, who are you? And why were you with my sister? Hmm. How's about we all head back to Shatola? I'm struggling to keep my thoughts straight out here. Welcome back, Mike. Hope work went well. Well... We're gonna go back to Shatola anyway, tomorrow. Let's go ahead and use... Monolite. I'm thinking either if we should warp home and head out that way, or... Yeah, let's just return home. It'll be faster. He exists now, except you'll be making a burger now. Ooh! Hope it Take turns out there. delicious. Burgers are always good. Although I'm really more biased to eating burgers at home than I am really eating burgers out. Or, like, eating them at a restaurant. I think the only time I've ever really comfortably eaten a burger was, like, at Red Robin, and that was, like, a turkey burger a while ago. I don't know. I'm just always of the mindset of eating at home, I suppose. Rather than eating burgers out. You like trying burgers at places? That's fair. Burgers are usually pretty safe, from what I've heard. Plus, they can probably have all kinds of fun combinations and stuff. I think my problem is I'm just so plain when it comes to burgers that I don't really eat them out all that much. Because most that I want on mine is maybe like, I don't know, like a spicy mayo and some greens or lettuce or something. Oh, Myra, you've brought the whole gang. Melika! Where were you? We were so worried. Sorry for causing you trouble. I know we were supposed to be leaving soon. As long as you're all fine, that's the main thing. So you're back, then. I'm sorry, Mayor. You should be apologizing to your parents. Yes, Mayor, I'll go now. Oh, but... Milica's leaving now, right? We can have, like, a whole bunch of hugs. Well, how about that? I owe you an apology, Milica. What do you mean? Your move is cancelled for now. What? What? <laughs> Why aren't you moving anymore? We heard that there's been an incident in Shatola. So we've decided to hold off on the move until things calm down over there. Does that mean we can stay here? 
in Milica's day? Yay, we can still play together! But the business? Enough of that complicated stuff. Tomorrow we play! Well, I mean, it's still fair for her to consider about the complicated stuff, but yeah, for now. Yeah, all three of us. We can all play together again. Yay, together again! Looks like staying here was the right decision. He looks so happy. Oh, there's no greater joy than seeing the smiles on their faces. It's lovely to see. Friends forever! Huzzah! Ooh, recipes. <sighs> Man, all the quests. Jobs. Yeah, you will have to let us know how your Borgor turns out for sure. Like I would I would be interested in trying a burger, like especially if it had like special bun buns or bread or something with it, but I don't know. One, I like cooking at home. And two again, two, I'm just very vanilla. Like I don't like a whole lot of stuff on my burger. I don't like tomatoes or onions or especially pickles or any of the regular toppings on burgers and stuff. And three, I'm cheap. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm always down to uh, try stuff. More for me? Exactly. Exactly. If there's something I don't like, it means it's more for the other people that do, so that is the trade-off. Alright, we are checking quests. So we need to go... Okay, so we go to we can go to Namiya tomorrow. And then we can also head back to Shatola. So Namiya, we could go see Crest though. Oh, I need to get a. I need to go home and get the pink gallo out of the box. I forgot about that. Easy. Easy peasy. Think your favorite topping is mushrooms on a burger? Ooh, yes, I do like mushrooms. Like sauteed and butter. Maybe with a little bit of garlic and stuff. Oof. Very good. Okay. Hello. Not the pyro liquid. Who those? I could agree to mushrooms on a burger. I don't know if I would have like an ideal burger, because again, I'm so plain. Um most of the time whenever we make burgers at home, we get like a 88-12 mix. I know it's lean, don't hate on don't hate on me. Um, but they don't tend to shrink up a whole lot a whole lot. It's like we'll make a quarter pound patties in our little press that we've got to make them about maybe about half an inch thick or three quarters of an inch i forget how thick it is but it's just uh four, four ounces of beef four out four ounces of 88 12 beef uh pressed into a patty grilled on our smoker grill that we've got outside i think it's like maybe three or four minutes aside depending they get nice and uh they get like some nice grill marks and uh smoke and all that on them it's really good um along with a i think it's a hawaiian style it's all stuff we get from sam's but uh it's like hawaiian style uh burger buns uh toasted with some butter in a pan so they get like that nice brown crust on the inside of them boys toast your burger buns i hear that's a plus uh, spread with a little bit of uh, spicy mayo, like sushi-style spicy mayo. Uh, mayo, the burger, 
Then maybe some uh, fresh greens or some lettuce if we've got it on us or growing out back somewhere. That's kind of how I've liked to make burgers lately. Especially with that spicy mayo. It just oof, makes it really good. So other than that, I haven't really ever experimented with what other stuff I might like on a burger, I suppose. Let me see. Coco! Thank you for the raid! How are you? How is your stream? And everyone, welcome in. I'm Bullseye Duck. We are having a whole entire month of Harvest Stella. It is here. It released last Friday. I have been immensely enjoying this game. Um, it's like the perfect little mesh of RPGs and farm life sims that I never imagined. It's got some real uh, Square Enix franchise vibes to it. Like I've felt uh, Final Fantasy, um, MMORPGs, uh, Nier, and several other things. I think they've even made like a slight reference to Octopath Traveler based off of an octopus. I'll show you. But uh, yeah, I have been enjoying the ever-loving goodness out of this game. For sure. But how are you, Moko? How is your stream? Welcome in, Raiders. But yeah, we just like to keep things nice and chill here. Chill and comfy. So if that is your vibe, I do encourage you to follow. Um, again, we will be playing Harvestella pretty much the whole month. This game, this is going to be a big game, I feel. We are still in the middle of chapter three. We are in the summer seas light right now. So we are just having a good old time with this game. So I hope you will join us along for, for the adventure. But, uh, here's what I was referencing to call it the octopus traveler. I was like, that's gotta be a reference to octopath traveler considering that's another square Enix game, right? It was very good getting to the heart of case of two, three and ace attorney. Ooh. Very nice. Very, very nice. Well, I do appreciate the raid. Let's see. Here we go. Very good. Is it your first time uh, playing the Ace Attorney series, Mocha? Or are you just showing it off for your community and your viewers? Because that is a fun series. It definitely is. Well, good. Have you been playing any uh, Harvestella? Is it on your radar? Clown case is not as bad as you remember. Nice. How are you, Muck? <sighs> yeah, I, I've heard. It's like I've heard it can and it can't be good and bad. Like, I know, like. Ace Attorney 2 is kind of split between if it's bad or good. Like, my opinion is, is that it's not the best, but it's still good. I wouldn't call it just, like, terrible, because it has its moments. Like, the whole, all the cases and stuff. Like, it's not bad, like, you know, awful, but it's just not the strongest Ace Attorney, in my opinion. Harvestella is on your radar, so you won't stick, along, stick around too long. Yeah. And you just make the case fun. Nice! Well, that is what it's all about, right? It's about making it fun for your community. Especially for a game as story-based as Ace Attorney is. I would be very curious to see how you pull that off. Other than maybe doing some fun voices and stuff. I don't know about you. Like, sautéed sauerkraut on burgers. That sounds like something Spirit would like on his burgers, too. Because he really enjoys sauerkraut and stuff. Yes, Moko. Oh, Harvestella is so good. Oh my gosh. I know, like, you're another fellow farm and life sim fan at heart. But, uh, and, um, you've played 14 before, haven't you? Final Fantasy 14, I think? But yes, just, oh, this is scratching the itch I have had for so long for a nice, fun, comfy RPG farm sim game. It just, it meshes so freaking well. And it's gorgeous, the soundtrack is good, the characters have been good, there's been a lot of good stuff to it, so... Ugh. I'm looking forward to, like, spending all month in this game. It is definitely what I have been looking forward to after all the spooky games that have just been, like, ugh. 
14 was not your thing. This reminiscent of Room Factory for you, and that's very A++. Yes! Yes, it is. It does give me some uh, Rune Factory vibes as well, for sure. I know uh, a while back I played a Rune Factory Frontier on the Wii, of course, and had a ball with it. Yeah, if you do enjoy RPGs and farm sims and life sims and stuff, I do highly recommend this game. It's not perfect, it's not perfect, I will say that, but I really have been enjoying my time with it. And so is my husband, Spirit Artificer. He actually starts playing it immediately after I stop my playthroughs or streams of this game just because he's been looking forward to this game too. So we're kind of having different takes on this game and different experiences. But um, again, get some real, some real other Square Enix and RPG vibes from it. So I've been enjoying it and can't gush about it enough. So again, if it's on your radar, you know, I would love to have y'all stick around and enjoy the adventure, but I completely understand if you want to have it on your own, for sure. But, um, yeah, but thank you so much again for the raid, Moko. It means so much for you to bring all of your lovely community members over. <sighs> trying to think if there's anything else. But yeah, just if you enjoy the comfy vibes as well, I do encourage you to follow and also follow Miss Moko Yoko. She is a treat, and I'm sure her Ace Attorney videos and streams are a trip, especially if she keeps them fun and everything. Yes, I do hope you have a lovely evening, and I will see you around, Moko. And thank you again for the raid, it means a ton. All right, we are going to continue then. We've got some side quests we need to prep up for tomorrow. We also need to think about going back and seeing the mayor now that we've got the items he needs. See you later. So let us do that. And of course, all of our people that live on our land are telling us goodbye. Just an extra little touch. It's kind of special. Oh, I hope they don't require us to like go to the Nord Step and get it. It's like, I've got the stuff. Just let me go turn it in. Darn it. Okay, good. I just have to go to his house. Very good. Let us head up to the mayor's house. Whoops. Here we go. No! Dang it, game. The one constraint, and I completely understand, is the time constraints. It's like, oh, it's kind of late. And if they have, you know, so much of a time that they want you to do, like... I get that, but crumble, crumble. Oh! It looks like there's going to be a quest starter here too, maybe? Dang it. It's like, I get where they're coming from. They don't want to box you in and have you risk passing out when you don't want to. But dang it. Okay. So the rest is just going to Namiya tomorrow. Maybe see if we can drop back by, I suppose, at some point. Well, suppose. Hmm. Suppose we could go home and cook some stuff real quick. Especially now that we've got some new recipes. Still haven't found out what that last ingredient for a vegetable muffin is yet. Maybe hopefully once we grow some stuff we'll find out. Hmm. Oh right, we have to use the sea ingredients. Smoked meat. Hmm. Eggplant. 
Oh, vegetable jam. Huh. Okay. Chili plant, mora corn, go figure. Mora corn. Pumpkin. Royal eggplant, right? That goes in ratatouille. Hmm. Grand truffle. I don't think that's something we've seen. We definitely haven't seen premium meat yet. Oh, dang. Oh, we could make this carpaccio. Which I think was also one of the ingredients we needed. Sea Tide Garlic, which we've got the plants for it. Chiton Paprika, Garlic, Sudor Pepper. I think that was another plant we got. Numble Mon. Hmm. Islet Watermelon, Coconut Milk, Syrup. Wow. A lot of stuff. Peach juice, lemon. Oh, numb lemon, ah. Lemon juice, grape juice, and orange juice. Hmm. Makoko. Oh! Rainbow bean makes coffee. Hmm. Very interesting. Wait. Let's try making this. Ooh. Man, that looks delicious. Now comes summer once we start growing some seasonal props we should be able to make these although i'm not sure what we need where we can get numb lemon i guess we'll find out at some point wait we planted the tree outside i almost forgot about that and then i guess they did say about putting some stuff in uh in the what's it's putting different stuff into the uh ferment or whatever so i guess we'll maybe see about putting one of those in the fermenter tomorrow see if that works we still have to figure out how to make like vegetable jam and a whole bunch of other stuff at some point at least we'll have plenty of... At least we'll hopefully have plenty of crop space in order to plant all this good stuff. Hmm. A lot of ingredients. Uh, I can't do that till tomorrow. This we're turning in... Anything else we want to cook? Pizza, we had bolognese. Bolognese, whatever. Birds. That tea, we need more sugar. I'm basically just looking for dishes in order to have more uh, moments during our breaks. Because if you have a meal, when you have a break with your people, sometimes you can have little conversations with them. 
maybe discover their favorite favorite dishes. Which I don't know if we've discovered any of those yet. Now I'm trying to remember what we have and haven't had with people yet. Yeah, you know? We'll bring one of those with us, too. Okay. Okay. We have a dish. We have our stuff. Tomorrow's going to be the last day of spring. So go ahead and go to bed. Ooh, we are so close to a level up. Oh, wow. Cotton Feather actually sells for a small, decent amount of money, considering we can get it passively from the chickens. Or the, the fowls. Ooh. From Azel. But uh, real quick, we are going to take another break. I encourage you all to do the same. Stand up, stretch, go to the bathroom, snack some beverages. We'll run some ads just so we push back pre rolls from anybody coming in. And we'll be back in just a few short minutes. All right, welcome back, everyone. We have a bit to do today, and it looks like we have even more character quests coming in. I just saw one pop up before we went to break, talking about Azel. So, let us see. So then we need to go to Nemea. And when we return to Shatola, we'll have this one. If we're going to Namiya, we could go check on Azel, too. Some food. 
is going to be... This is for quests, this is for stuff, these can be for heals, so... Hopefully we should be okay in terms of, uh, stuff. Wow! <laughs> you did it! Woohoo! Oh, that's right, I forgot that Errol has quests for us as well. Ooh. A cheese maker. Okay. Ta-da! Such a good job. Harvest skill charge one, okay. Ta-da! Such a good job. Smoker. Oh man. So we've already done quite a bit of stuff. Ta-da! Such a good job. Plant skill farm level up. Okay. Done a number of things. Of course the next thing's gonna take quite a bit. Very nice. Yeah, I completely forgot about Errol giving us requests. We've got quite a bit of stuff. Plant charge. With seeds equipped, hold extra charge, then release it to scatter the seeds across a wider area in one shot. Ooh. Excuse me. Crops that are ready to harvesting a charge and release to harvest a wider area in one shot. Oh. The farm increases the chance of harvesting high quality crops. High quality crops sell for a slightly higher price. High quality crops making meals will resort in high quality dishes that give better effects when eaten. Let's go. Uh, hmm. Well, she gave us some stuff to make, so. Oh, I don't have what I need to make the mill. Large iron ore and clay. So once we find those, we'll be in business to start. Making some better stuff. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's make a smoker real quick. Got lots of meat, so why not? You'd smoke eggs? Interesting. Yeah, sure. Why not? It's really beneficial to carry a number of different uh, AoE attack items on us. Yes. Make a cheese maker, but I don't necessarily have the means to. Uh... Are you taking good care of your flying bug friend? <laughs> Yes, Arya, we're taking care of them. Bam. Oh, need to get... Get some meat out. Juice. Yes, we can ferment the rainbow bean, which should make us some coffee. Yes, perfect. Our cucumbers are ready to harvest the day before quietus. Awesome. Oh, and that was the last harvest on that one. Feels like quietus is on its way. Yes, it is. Don't be creepy. Okay, we'll put that away. Let us go say hello to the Clefowls. They are adorable. Give you all the pets. We've got eggs. Here's some more feed. Oh, they're getting happier. Sweet babes. Oh, got mail. 
finished my preparations, so let's get into Heaven's Egg and see what's going on as soon as possible. We're lucky nobody's been hurt yet, but it's only a matter of time. What is going on? Whatever it is, we have to put a stop to it now. I'll meet you outside the Heaven's Egg. Okay. You posted Borgorn. Nice. Aww. <clears throat> I'm so happy that Van and Ben said they didn't want to see me move move house, but don't tell them that or they'll laugh at me. Thank you too, Myra. You've helped us all a bunch. Come play with us again soon. Bye-bye. Okay. Ooh, so he wants to go to the Heaven's Egg. I don't know if I want to do that today. Ooh, speaking of eggs. Store those away. Alright, so, Leith, Nemea, Shatola. That is the order we are going in today. I get the pets. So cute! See you later! Alright, Leith? Where are we going? Need to go... Mm, no, that won't necessarily be faster. I thought about warping to the square. The northern square, but that would still kind of put us out of the way. Alright, Mayor. Oof! Ouch, 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 ouch. Sorry for making you come all the way to my house, Cress. Don't be silly. I'm the only doctor in the village, so it's only natural I come around. In any case, what were you doing pushing yourself too hard again? Hi, Myra. Thanks for coming. Myra, I'm glad to see you looking so well. I brought the ingredients for the medicine. Thanks, I knew I could rely on you. Thank you for your trouble. The mayor hurt his back trying to lift something heavy on his own again. Was he lifting the bottles of booze? I must be getting old. Nothing like that ever used to be a problem for me. Yes, well, you're no spring chicken anymore. Just take this as a lesson and try not to overdo it again, alright? You might not be able to get away with just a bad back next time. Alright. Village is counting on you, Mayor. We need you to stay fit and healthy. You should call me you should call on me and Dim more. Remember that we're here for you. Alright, I will. Thanks, Cress. I hope so. Oh, sorry, I've kept you waiting there. Could I have the ingredients you got us for the medicine, please? Sure. There you are. Good. There's plenty here. I'll be able to make a painkiller for your back with this. I'm going back to my clinic quickly to mix it up. Thanks. And you too. Thanks for finding us the ingredients. I'm glad it's nothing serious. I'm really starting to feel my age now, being looked after by you youngsters. Feels like just the other day, Cress was still a baby. Now she's all grown up. Sounds like something a dad would say. <laughs> well, you could say that. I've been looking after Cress since she was a baby. After her parents died, I raised her as my own. Oh, She was a disobedient child and stubborn, too. <laughs> Once she'd made up her mind on something, she'd fight her corner, and there was no convincing her otherwise. I suppose that part hasn't changed. <laughs> Sounds like she was mature for her age. Perhaps. I always thought she was trying too hard to act grown up, though. Oh, how time flies. How many more years do I have to see Dim and Cress grow? I'm back, Mayor. 
What? Why do the two of you look so gloomy? I was just talking to Myra about how you were as a kid. What? Why would you do that? Don't talk about me when I'm not around. It was nothing serious. I thought you wouldn't mind. I do mind. I'm sorry, I was just curious. And you do know what Curiosity did to the cat, right? Wow. Anyway, it's too late now. You've already gone and told her, but next time ask my permission first. Now, here's your medicine. It will ease your back pain. Thank you, Chris. I made extra, just in case. Don't overdo it again, okay? Yes, yes, I won't. You worry far too much. Of course I worry about you. You're the only family Dim and I have left. Oh, I suppose. Going back to the clinic now. There are probably patients waiting for me to get back. Please take bed rest until your back pain eases, Mayor. Curiosity led the cat to Schrodinger. <laughs> oh, well put, Minstrel. How are you? Yes, pup time is the best boy. For the best pup. I'll see you later, Myra. I'll write another letter if anything else comes up. Take care. Are we going to talk more about Cress now that she's leaving? Aww. Ooh. Fancy reward. You're alright at the moment. How are you? I'm good. A little sleepy just from all the rain we're getting outside, but good nonetheless. Still enjoying the heck out of this game. I do hope you are able to rest and relax yourself. Oh darn, if only I could go and see him right away. What's wrong, Mayor? Oh, Myra, well I'm a bit worried, you see. Ah, uh, I know, as you're here now, could you perhaps help me with a little something, Myra? Yeah, sure. Oh, you accept? Thank you. The thing is, I received this letter from an old friend of mine who lives in Chitola. Fitting. His letters are usually nothing too serious, but this letter makes for a stark contrast. Says this will be his last letter. Right. We used to be very close friends. We used to go on travels together and everything. Now, because of our old age, the most we can do is write letters to each other. Maybe he can't write anymore? I thought of that too. To be honest, I am quite worried about the old feller. He's a sensible and respectable man. It would be out of character for him to cut off contact like that without talking about it first. I could, I would go straight over to Shatola right now. That's not easy for a mayor to leave his town behind. Which is why I was hoping you might be able to go for me and find out how he's doing. Sure, you can count on me. Thank you, much obliged. Aww. Take that letter with you. His name is on there, so once you get to Shatola, you can ask someone where to find him. Thanks again. Perfect. You were going to head back to Shatola today Morning. anyway. Getting there in the same to you. He, he was keeping that letter in his beard. I mean... I mean, it is a pretty fantastic and special beard. Alright. I don't have any more quests left here. Not doing Azels, because we're not going to the Heaven's Egg today. So we just need to go to Shatola. We also need to go to Mamiya. Let's head back there. We should be able to do both things in one day. 
before Quietus arrives. My inner linguist wishes that Shatola was also known as the land of amazing shallots. I mean... <laughs> okay, so we've got two, two quests we need. Ooh. One is right here, perfect. Excuse me, do you know a man named Jade? Hmm, no, sorry. Okay, thank you. Oh, hi, Myra, you're in the Mia. Were you asking about Jade? Yes. Since I came to Namiya, I've been asking around for him every chance I get. But so far, no one has seen him. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. I'm not ready to give up, though. Even if it turns out to be pointless in the end, I still want to know I did everything I could to find him. Besides, it's better for me to stay busy. Excuse me there. Yes? Are you looking for a jade? Yes, I am. I was just looking after a man named Jade at my house. He might be the person you're looking for. <gasps> really? Where is he? Um, I think he said he was going to the observation deck. Thanks. Uh, wait, you should know something. It's important. I can tell her if you don't mind. Don't worry about that. Just stop her. She might get a terrible surprise if she finds him. Please, go on ahead to the observation deck. I'll be right behind you. Uh-oh. Well, if they were in a shipwreck... There's more than one result of a shipwreck for somebody. Real quick, we'll go see uh, Sherry over here. Hey, you're back. Did you find a shell? A little girl helped me choose it. A little girl chose it? I'm sure it must be nice. A shell. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... See this pendant? I've had it since I was a kid. Looks just like the shell I brought. It's not like I could just go and pick it up myself. Never even been to Shatola. How did you get it? Don't know. To be honest, I have no idea when or where I got this pendant. Someone gave it to me, I don't know who it was. So it was from Shatola then. You know how I said that I wanted to go to the beach because it was a dream of mine? That wasn't the real reason. The real reason I wanted to go to the beach was to look for another shell like the one in my pendant. I wanted to get some kind of clue where it came from. Oh, what a coincidence, I found the same one. Yeah, but I'm kind of disappointed. You found it so easily. I've always thought it was special, and I was never going to part with it. That's why I wanted to know how I even got it in the first place. Anyway, sorry I went off on a tangent. Don't worry about it. Well, I'm one step closer now, thanks to you. At least now I know it's from Shatola. Thank you for everything, Traveler. I'm going home now. That was my end of the deal. My parents are going to be so angry with me. I better go and apologize. See you later. I'll write you a letter if I find out anything else about the shell. Ooh. 
again, there's so many side quests, but it's so beneficial due to the rewards. Alright, let's go see what's up with Lilia. Did you find him? Finally found you. Sorry. I missed you, Jade. I've been looking for you all this time. Jade? Who are you? Oh, no. Um, quick backstory since Minstrel just got here. Quick backstory is I found the woman washed up on the beach in the Summer Seas Light area. She and her fiancé here ran away from home because her parents wouldn't let them be married. Uh, she was shipwrecked on the beach alone and was looking for him. They made a promise to come to this town to start their new life, and yeah. Huh? What's going on? What does he mean, who am I? I am Jay, but I don't know who you are. When... what do you mean? Finally caught up to you. What happened to him? It looks like I'm too late. Is this what you were trying to tell us? Listen carefully, you two. He's amnesiac. Amnesiac? But how? He says it's an after-effect of a big accident he was in. Oh, the accident did this to him. I might have met you two before I lost my memory, but I really don't remember you at all now. Sorry. Jade. All I remember is my name and that I was in some kind of horrible accident. And that I was supposed to come to Nemea for some reason. I don't remember why, though. I'm sorry. Still, I'm just glad that Jade is alive. What are you going to do now? I don't know. I need to think about it. Naira, let's call it a day. I need to go away and process everything that just happened. Jade is probably in shock from all of this, too. I'll write you a letter if I need your help again. For now, I need to figure out what to do next. I'm here whenever you need help. Thank you too, ma'am. Sorry you had to run all this way after us. No problem. It seems like a complicated issue, so I'll be here to help too. Thank you. Well, see you later. Hmm. Thank you. Well, that was quite the result. I kind of wonder, I know it always seems like a kind of a trope with movies, books, video games, movies, you have it, TV shows. But I kind of wonder if amnesiacs can recover just how, how that works. You know, like it might be kind of similar to say like Alzheimer's and whatnot, but... I know not exactly take what I say with a grain of salt, but just the matter that like people that can forget can remember. Who knows? Mileage varies drastically, yeah. Also eloping in amnesia is like, well, this is going to be complicated, right? Yeah, you're not wrong, minstrel. Oh, okay. Wait, have I turned into cup tea? Was that even one of the things that the food delivery asked for? I forget. Oh, 
Okay, no, she didn't ask for tea. And she does what? Peach, rose, mousse, and tomato and eggplant cheese bake. That's monies. Yeah, I definitely don't know. I just you know I see it more as a trope or a plot point in uh, stories and stuff more than IRL. Okay, then we just need to go to Shatola. of things. Just a matter of Ask about the pen pal. Then go and meet Misella. Wouldn't be more surprised if it's more common in stories than statistics would suggest for reality. Fair. Looking for someone. You don't look like you're from around here. Who are you looking for? Huh, that name. Hey kid, did you receive this recently? Something doesn't quite add up here. The old man who sent that letter, Zenith, used to live here, but <clears throat> I'm pretty sure he passed away about six months ago. That can't be right. I know it's hard to believe. Yes, yet you're still receiving letters from him somehow. The news must have come as a shock to you. Why don't you check at his house? It's the house near the pier. What? His family still lives there, so if you talk to them, you might just find out what's going on. That's a nice looking beach, right? It looks like a heckin' fantasy resort town out of my dreams. From what I've seen, most places look nice in this game. Yep. Both are valid. Both are very valid. Of course, now the question is, where was I to meet Misella? Because it says meet them back in Shatola. Others that return to Shatola. Be in a house somewhere I don't know of. I guess we'll just have to explore and find out. Uh, hello. Hi, um, can I help you? What? That's my grandpa. Yes, he did pass away six months ago. Yet. Oh, how did you get that letter? See, the mayor of Leith sent you. I have something to confess. I know all about that letter because I'm the one who sent it. <gasps> what? Did you write it on his behalf? I did. Before he passed, I was writing all his letters for him. He was sick and didn't have the strength to lift even a quill. He insisted the one thing he didn't want to give up was writing to his pen pal. First, I used to write exactly what he said in the letters. And then when he passed, I intended to tell his pen pal the truth. But I couldn't bring myself to do it. So that means... Yes wrote all the letters that came after my grandpa's death. 
It seemed like that connection he had with the mayor was what kept him going. He always looked so happy reading those letters. I'm sure the mayor found some joy in them too. That's why I decided to keep writing to him, pretending to be Grandpa. So what changed? I just... I can't do it anymore. I can't keep on lying like this. <laughs> Listen to me telling my sob story. I was the one who took it upon myself to go and lie in the first place. It must have been hard on you too. No, it's all my fault. I should have just told him the truth. How will I ever make up for this? Would you be able to come to leave? Leave. You came here from Leith, right? If it's no trouble, could you take me there with you, please? I would like to come and apologize to him if that's alright. I have to let him know about Grandpa, too. Thank you. Well, I have to get ready, so I'll meet you at the town entrance. These are some involved side stories. Like, man. Like, that they have just so much, like, plot to them, and it's not just like, Oh, go over here and grab this for me. Man. Okay, so that's likely the girl. Feels like we're still missing something, like we haven't been everywhere, probably. somewhere we haven't been. Just gotta find a way to get Oh! This is new. Oh, this is gorgeous. Mystery Store Modest Monolite. Hmm. Mystery Store. In the world? Hello? Konu. What? It's a Konelu. Konu? Oh, Konu no Kona. No idea what he's saying, no. Oh, who's there? Are you a traveler? You did well to find this hideout all by yourself. What is this place? This is the Chief Konelu's hideout. Okona. I'm glad you found us. I was wondering how long it would take for someone to find us. This place is top secret. Kona Kona. I know, I will. I'm getting there. You can speak Konelu? Yeah, kind of. Can't you? Really? Well, that's weird. Anyway, that's not the point. I have a favor to ask. The Chief Konelu says he's collecting Konelu dolls. He'd like your help finding them. I found some Canelo dolls. Konu. Kona Koni Kona. He says they're scattered around in lots of different places, so I can't go and look for them myself. But they seem really important to him, so I'd like to help him somehow. Kona Kona. Aww. 
He says it will reward you with a nice surprise if you find them for him. What do you say? Yeah, sure. Luna! He says thanks. Alright, we'll leave the rest with you. Koopo? Yes, Koopo. <laughs> this feels very much like a Koopo. Quick survey suggests that amnesia indeed varies drastically from case to case, both in cause and prognosis. Makes sense. Kona Kona. Here you are. Kona! Names, please. Kona Kona Kona! Kona Kona! Arched green fence recipe. Ooh. Okay. Let's see how many Konella dolls you've brought. Ooh, seven. He said he'd give us an okay accessory if we bring him ten dolls. Hmm. Can I go in your mysterious back room? No? Okay. Okay, so we just have to keep looking, I suppose. Now we know what to do with them, I guess. We've been finding those Conello dolls everywhere. There's probably plenty of others we still haven't found in places we've been yet. Mystery store. Mm -hmm. Aha! Ooh, chest. Silver ore. Nice. Oh, here you all are. In like the best view of the whole heckin' town. So. Where to start? So much I want to ask. I guess first I'd like to know why you never came back to Namiya. Yes, that seems fair. It's no surprise they're both struggling to find the right words after such an awkward reunion. They won't get anywhere like this. Excuse me. I trust neither of you will mind if I say something first. Oz? I don't mind, but... I still have no idea what role you play in all of this. Ah, that's right. Well, I'm here to ask for your blessing. Odd. May I have you, your permission to take Missella as my bride? Oh! Ha-ha! Did you just say bride? Wow, getting straight to the point! I'm sorry for not telling you sooner, Missella. I've been thinking about this for a long time now. Haz. Todd, I feel the same way. I'm sorry for hiding our relationship from you. But it's not because I felt ashamed or anything like that. I was just too nervous to tell you, so I kept running away from the situation. Please, please give us your blessing. Give him a chance, Todd. Oz, I've been wanting to say this since the moment I met you. Oh no. Allow me to thank you once again, Haas. I'm truly grateful to you for saving my life in the Jade Forest. Couldn't have done it on my own. Myra was there and that gave me the courage to face the challenge head on. Maybe, but in the end it was you who saved me. I'm glad Michelle has found such a good man. Alright, I approve of your marriage. Yay! Oh, Todd. However, I have a few conditions. Oh, no. Oh? Conditions. Don't worry, they're nothing too major. Condition number one, you write to me four times a day. In the morning, afternoon, nighttime, and before bed. Can those all just go on one page? B before bed? Condition two, you and Haas pray every morning facing my direction. What? Um, Todd? 
Condition 3. I moved to Shatola, and of course my place has to be right next to yours. Ew! Weird! What do you need? What do you need letters for then? Oh wait, there's more! Condition number four. Todd, stop! <sighs> In-laws. Letter one. Hi, Waves. Letter two. You. <laughs> <laughs> Letter three, ooh woo. <sighs> I mean, she gonna have to lay some ground rules. She definitely gonna have to lay some ground rules. Oh, convenient. I guess unless you pay attention to the map, you don't see that, uh, that goes around. Okay. So that's her wanting to go... go back. Well, let's go to the main story. Letter four. Bye, waves. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, she gonna have to lay some ground rules with her brother. Alright. Oh gosh, we haven't saved like almost this whole game. Let us go ahead and do that. And... We've got some stuff on us, but nothing I'm worried about. Oh, we need to go turn in, uh, turn in the foodstuffs. I suppose if we're going somewhere we have to fight, I should probably also take a break. Alright, we'll go turn in this dish. Hey, lady. Did I brought you some arpaccio money? Okay. We'll see what we need to do. Well, then the question is, well, I can't even take a break here, so. Alright, let's go. Hey, dude. Are you ready to embark? All ready to go. Alright, all, abo all aboard the Fiasola. So how far is the Summer Seas Light exactly? It's not that far, though we will need to plan our route carefully. Let us aim to reach the opening to the ocean's source for now. We can figure out the rest after. Not to be confused with a fiascola, no. <laughs> We're on a ship? What? Okay. Um, yes. Ooh. Is the monolite underground or the sea's light? I think we're almost at the source. Uh oh. Meep! Also, uh, she's special and she can't speak the human language, so she meeps. I'm suspecting she's a siren. What's that song? Seems to be calling to us, guiding us deeper. This must be Lorelei's ballad, so it wasn't just a rumor. This was the song that dragged those boats underwater. Meep. Well, luckily we're in a submarine. It's built for being underwater. 
deeper we go, it will be rude to keep the lady waiting. The ship may rattle a little, but I promise there's no need to worry. This is more than a little rattle, don't you think? Don't panic, the Fiasola can handle the pressure. Uh, uh, what was that? Um, uh, looks like the full detector has, uh, detected an abnormality. Likely just a crack in the transformer. Just a crack? I said there's no need to panic. I'm certain we probably have nothing to worry about. Which one is it? Um, should we start praying? I think it's a bit lit late to start believing in gods now. Meep meep! Yes, panic. Bullseye 2 1 panic pyramid. Perfect. Uh... Are we underwater somehow? The Coral Shrine. Well, this is pretty. <sighs> Looks like we arrived, somehow arrived in one piece. I wasn't sure we'd make it for a moment there. Dude! I honestly thought my soul had left my body. So we actually made it? This is it. We experienced some technical difficulties, but we reached our destination in the end. What a peculiar destination it is. This is certainly the ocean floor, but it has breathable air. A song. Is that Lorelei's ballad? It sounds more like an elegy. Where even are you? Somewhere with breathable air under the water. I haven't seen this place before either, but this must be the Coral Shrine, home of the Summer Sea's Light. And of Prin Princess Emmo and her sirens. Oh. Sirens? Mimi? Well, wait a minute. You seem pretty well informed. Hmm? Why the side eye, friend? I have a great I've read a great deal of books for the sake of research, you see. Naturally, someone is bound to acquire some knowledge. Anyway, I will leave the exploring to you. I'm going to make some adjustments to the Fiasola. Let me know when you're ready to return to the surface. Will it get us back safe? Well, if it fails, we'll at least have the honor of being the first humans to be crushed at the bottom of the world. What? I'm joking. We should be able to float safely to a place outside of Lorelei's influence. Now, take care and be on your way. Not to be confused with Elmo. Well, it's either Emmo or Emo, so... Ooh. Yes! Wogland? Wogland? Job that wields magic through song to support the team. It can charge its normal attacks by holding the Y button. Hmm. I mean, if it gives me a cute outfit and good skills, I'm all for it. Ooh, yeah, we will need to take a break. I need to restore my stamina. Okay. Well, yeah, let's... Let's try out Emmo. She's so pretty. And hmm. Song of Waves. Assault the enemy with water and wave damage. Temporarily raises your magic defense. Good. I definitely will see what that's about. Oh, you can bard now, right? Most likely. Well, let us take a food break then. Oh, uh, sure. Dang, didn't have any effect. Normally, That's when we take a break and the food shows overhead, 
Um, it means a uh, you can have a cutscene or a special moment with your with your people. Oh, my outfit did change. And we have these little bloaty things following us too. I do like how it looks though. A little sad we can't like zoom in on it. This is also reminding you of a section of Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, um, I think I know what you're talking about. In a sh well, I shouldn't say much or spoilers, but uh. I think I know what you're talking about, though, Minstrel. Because I was getting the exact same vibes. It's like, huh. This kind of scenario reminds me of Final Fantasy XIV. I'll leave it at that, just in case people ever experience it for themselves. But yeah, this game gives off a lot, oops, a lot of uh, other Square Enix franchise vibes and stuff. I was trying not to spoil. I know, I know. I was close. I stopped myself, though. Alright, we have a little bit of time, so let us press on, shall we? Ooh, kinda curious how big, uh... Thank you. Kinda curious how big this one's gonna be. Because the previous, the previous, uh... What's it? was like five or six? Ooh, we're gonna have to bring stuff with us next time, too. We're definitely not gonna get through all of this this day. And then it's gonna be quietus. You like this tune? She's meeping audibly? Yeah. Yeah, this is so beautiful. It's so gorgeous. Oh! A Sahagin! Okay. Oop. Oopsie. Is everyone all right? Huh. Okay, we might... <laughs> I might need to change. Because I think we'll... We don't need two bards. Otherwise we'll be in trouble. Here I go! <laughs> the battle begins. Nice damage. Chateauren paprika seeds. Okay. Yeah, we'll do some exploration. This is a fat Sahagan. Oh my gosh. It's like so chunky and so different from uh, the other Sahagan race I've seen before. Oop, nope. Wait, why do I have an egg in my... I tried to learn to set uh, my cursor not on foodstuffs and other things. Just so I don't accidentally use them in a panic. Man, this place is a labyrinth. Beautiful, but man. Here I go. It's ten twenty. Oh, I should have brought a Dang, okay, I'm gonna have to bring some dynamite and a bridge repair kit. Probably multiples of each. Just so I can fix this. This place is big. Of course, go figure our way forward is across the bridge.
fountain. Interesting. It's 11.10. That's an instance. Oh, what are those? Take that. Take that. Probably right after this fight, we're gonna need to need our bell to go home. Lest we be in trouble. Yeah. Another fountain. Okay, yep. Time to go home. Whew! Let's call there. Oops. Okay. Well, I guess depending on... I think we actually planted one of these already, so depending on how many of those... How many num lemons it yields, we may have to plant more of these. That glowing liquid. Wise man's root. Cooking. Put those away. You go ahead and pull these over. No, we probably shouldn't all the vegetable juice on this. They are used for cooking. Alright, get to bed. Okay, we do not wish to pass out today. Okay, leveled up, very good. It's quietus. Oh boy. Uh, guess it makes sense he would be inside. I want to be outside in this. Quietus? Yeah, it's quietus, all right. What's quietus? It is what is called the season of death, I believe. But, uh... There's not a real story explanation for it, but it's just that nobody wants to be outside because... Like, particles come off of the sea's light and... can essentially kill somebody. Like, it's that detrimental. And it also kills, like, all the plants and such. What? It is not like basically lots of asbestos. Again, spirits lurking behind me again and commenting. <sighs> but yeah, it's gonna kill... All the plants can kill almost anybody that's going to be out in it, aside from uh, us, because we were outside in it and it didn't kill us somehow, or it did, or who knows. Minstrel and Mike say hello, or say hi. He says hello back. Well, what do? Sounds almost like a kind of radiation, yeah. Hmm. Press implored us not to go outside, but... Oh. Oh, this is special. Yeah. All... All our regular crops are going to wither. Except for our trees, thankfully. It would be sad if our trees withered after all that. Oh, we did plant a numb lemon. Very good. 
Hmm. Uh, I guess we'll explore around a little bit. I don't think there's anything else we can really do. Definitely some places on our farm we haven't been yet. Definitely don't think the chickens are going to be out today, so. Learned level two bombs. You've saved recently. Time to treat it like a game. Walks out into the deadly but pretty particles, right? I mean, we've been out here before, but... Yeah, it's all... Oh, glowy. Almost kind of looks like sunrise. doing that before. See a light shining at the bottom of the well. Go down the well. Hmm. Uh, yeah, sure. Got nothing else to do today, right? Uh-oh. We did. Oh. What? What the heck? Here am I. You are inside the world, inside my memories. Oh, it's you. Still don't know who or what you are. Your body remains in the well, sleeping soundly. Only your consciousness was carried here. It was I who called you. I wanted to meet you, you who exist in my unknown. Why did you want to meet me? I want you to show me why you were chosen. We'll be waiting for you inside. The path ahead is filled with danger, but you will surely get by with the help of your friends. Your friends will support you if you want them to, since I will be there on the other side of those hardships. I'll see you there, Myra. I just have to want their help? Huh? Where am I? But I was just... Aria? Myra? Did you do this? Kind of. So you're telling me a strange girl brings you here if you go near the well? And why would anyone do that? She wants us to go deeper? Well, there's only one thing we can do. Believe every word of what she said and follow after her. No point in thinking about those things when it'd be faster to just find her and ask her directly, right? Anyway, let's get going. Well. Nothing else to do, right? Mom, Kakarika Mountain's burning again, right? Yeah, we not dead. Foreshadowing. <laughs> right? Oh. Okay, what can we catch down here? A 
Venon clam. The suspicious shellfish. Try saying that ten times fast. Well... Might as well get a few of these, right? No, I will not try saying that, right? <laughs> hmm. Too dark to see. Beautiful. Yep. Might as well. Those deeper. Here we go then. powder and star crystals. I mean, star crystals are worth money, so... Might as well look around, right? Hmm. Now I'm getting some Final Fantasy 15 vibes off of this. Something inside. Polluted Earth. Hmm. More enemies. Oh. place is this we're getting this stuff from? Ooh. That looks fancy. Hey babe, I got a philosopher's stone. Oh, yeah. Have you found that? Okay. This is used to fortify weapons. It's fancy. Yeah, no telling how much we'll actually be able to level stuff up. I will definitely have to check out the kitchen after the stream is cut, for sure. I do enjoy it when people share food, of course. I like sharing food and recipes. You all know me, so... Of course, it is most welcome. Oh, we only found... Ooh, another thing I might need is get on some you can definitely like blitz to the bottom it seems hey. oh dear Hmm. Yeah, this reminds me of the the canyon the motif and everything. I forgot I had a, a 
forgot I had a stronger spell. Oops. Ooh. Gotta remember I have all these spells at my disposal. Yeah, this place definitely seems interesting, and if this place is only available on Quietus, like, man. Chaos Powder. Like, this seems like a kind of a dungeon, like a special dungeon to farm enemies and higher level stuff and things. Should I ask if this place is even real? It's not sounding like it according to whatever the girl told us. She said this was inside her consciousness or something. up all the drops. Just powder. Which, if this layer is themed after the Hegan Canyon, it makes me wonder if the other layers further down might be themed after other biomes. Oh no! Not a stamina? What? That's shenanigans. actually give you fullness? What? Hmm. I mean, as long as they don't have any detriment, well, I guess it doesn't make me hungry. So I guess you get sick off of eating wilted plants. <laughs> damage considering it's a wave and water field damage temporarily lowers physical attack hmm. sounds good and I guess as long as this like, gives me back some stamina although it's not going to do it very quickly <laughs> that was a big boom. Nice big boom. Yeah. Rider. Yeah. Oh, whoops. can't eat anything else for a little bit. Getting back our stamina was certainly good. Yeah. I think 
It's everything. We go deeper still. We gotta stay away from that enemy. Oh. Um. Oh. How angry is this one? Oh, he very angry. He very angry. You didn't see it, he was level 37 and we're just now like level 25 or something. So, uh, very, very angry. I need to go ahead and get some stuff. Story man. I have no idea what I just did, but it seemed like it was awesome. Whew. Yeah, let's not disturb the Angie. The Angie enemies. Secretly entered the Pit of a Hundred Trials, right? Either the Pit of the Hundred Trials or whatever the secret secret uh bottomless one was in uh, final fantasy 15 that was like super difficult Oof. we're finding some nice stuff here can't be used in this state hmm. floralized here Hmm. Exactly, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Need to find a way around here and not disturb the fears. <gasps> Rain Truffle! Yes! Yes, please. Take that. I'd rather stay away from that enemy. I know, that's the plan. He's sleeping. Let's leave it that way. Remember? Frankly, Oni Musha has something like that as well. Goes deeper. Ah, oh, yeah, sure. Save our time by just going down. In the world. Oh, oh. Uh, this looks. This looks like a. This is like a boss rush or a boss run. Uh, yeah. Risk of match. Uh, yes. Oh, they're tough. Up <laughs> 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 one memory, that's a thing. A jump! That's what it is. We're a heckin' dragoon. I mean, we take it. We might grab popcorn. We'll probably wrap up here soon, just in case. But yeah, if you want to get a snack, definitely get a snack. But yeah, we'll probably wrap up here soon-ish. Anelu doll. Backpack is full. No! No! I want goodies. Ooh. Uh, don't need. Don't want regular lumber. Don't need regular rusty metal. Want these treasure chests. 
is a thank you. Mm. Heck. Yeah. That's so interesting. Like, it won't let you... I don't understand why it wouldn't let you open that. Okay. This... Let's just go down. Goes deeper. No. Right, cause... Yeah, I don't have a bell. So we would be risking... We would be risking, uh... You know... Not being able to return in time. Backpack is full of- No! Right? Exactly it. Offload all goods. Uh, keep that. Curious what we'll be able to do about this stuff. Because it says can't be used in this state, so I'm guessing we have to do something with it. Oh, wait, 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 no. I need the star crystals because I can only sell them. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, you found a Chaos Emerald, right? You are likely not wrong. We will sell the... Yeah, that is quite the ordeal. Like, it's fun. It's cool. Yeah, definitely full of, uh, of enemies. Anything else? I guess I could make a bell. Now find all five or seven. Oh, okay, y'all are talking. Y'all are saying, well, I see. Go ahead and make a couple of return bells just so I don't get stuck without one. Hmm. Would like to maybe continue getting some stuff, but if we can maybe blitz to the bottom. It's not going to be the bottom for sure. If we can maybe... Well, let's go. Ah. news item of the day. Apparently Sonic the Hedgehog lore is complicated enough with all the games, comics, movies, cartoons, and such now that Sega of America is advertising an associate manager lore position. What? That's nuts. Seems they're even having, even they're having trouble with keeping, keeping track of canon. I mean, fair. Very fair. shifts every Tuesday. Okay, take those. Watch, one of these is going to be the enemy. Yep. Need the one that goes down. Oh. Oh. Interesting. The battle begins. Here we go. 
Yeah, okay. I have to eliminate the enemies before we can go down further. Alright, big boom. Big boom! Is a pit of a hundred trials, probably. If anything, we probably need to bring a couple of accessories with us Is everyone right? in order to be catered to uh, cater to the uh, elementals that we fight. Whew. Okay. Not that going deeper helps us all that much. Oof. And Stephanie is tough. Unless it's kind of a roll of the dice. Wow. That was lucky. It's like it's almost, almost time to pass out. Are the mines in Stardew Valley like that as well? Sort of. You know what? I'm not gonna risk the biscuit. We going home. Where they just kind of get deeper and enemies hit harder and stuff. So kind of. Go put this out in the box real quick. All right, and go to bed. Ah, oh, we almost got two level ups from all those. Star crystals are worth a hundred apiece. Not bad. The withered crops might actually have some value for some fullness, even if it does make you sick for it. As long as you can get back some of your stamina, eat it. Be a bad option. Summer breeze, day one. So now we are in summer. Go outside, take a look. See you later. Well, now we are officially in summer. That is where we are going to call it for here. This was a good session. I'll probably have to split it up. But that will be for YouTube. But for now, I hope you all will join us in the next one. So I hope to see you then.